you do. God told them to be fruitful and multiply, but they did not. He said, be fruitful. He didn't say, be eating the wrong fruit. He said, be fruitful. Make fruit. Make fruit. Right. Uh, you want the fruit that you see coming up out that tree. Here's the thing. The funny thing is, uh, even if it was a specific type of fruit, God never said that they couldn't plant it. The concept of the fruit was behind the spirit in the actual tree. The spirit of the fruit. Just like the tree of life which stood next to it was full of leaves. They did not touch that, right? But the tree of life was full of leaves. Just like the other trees. I said these leaves on this tree were special. Were they going to ignore all leaves forever because that this tree had leaves? No. So you have to ignore all fruit forever. It wasn't about the actual fruit, the actual type of fruit. It was about the spirit of the fruit. It's the spirit of obedience. Are you walking in the spirit of obedience? The God tells you to do something. You get up and just do it. Shut your mouth and just move. Mind your business. You don't need to know why I'm asking you to do it. Lois was right about that one. She told me to do something. I never asked why. I didn't. That was not in our vocabulary. We're not, not allowed to ask why about anything. Nothing. So now dealing with God, I, I just, he told me to do something. I'm like, okay, I'm going to do it, God. I'm getting it done. <laughs> I'm like, that's why. I don't need to know. It's not my business. Do you trust God? Yeah, here's the thing. Here's the thing. And I, I know I was talking to somebody and um, somebody prophesied to me. And they said, God is saying, you never ask me why I want you to do anything. And I'm saying to myself, because I, 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 don't, I don't care. I never need to know. I don't need to know why. If you want to tell me why God, that's that's good. But seeing as how I grew up not being able to ask why, even if you tell me I can't ask why, I need to know then what I can ask why about and what I can't ask why. When is it respectful to ask why and when is it, when is it disrespectful? But Jamie, just to cut all that mess out, uh, I don't need to know why. If you want to tell me, God, then you go ahead and tell me. Otherwise, wisdom says for Jamie, I don't need to know why. If you tell me why, this is why I say if he tells me why, that's fun and that's fine because of the fact that it'll only add to the testimony of it. So if God tells me to do something and he says because I'm doing this, so that, that adds a testimony of it. That just makes it even more fly. That gets more amp in my mind. But he don't owe me a uh, why. He don't owe me any of the letters that I've He don't owe me all X, Y, Z, none, none of that. He just, oh, here, I just want him. So if he tells me to do it, the Bible says you show that you love him with your obedience. So if he tells me to do it, I'm going to get up and do it. And I'm not asking for no questions. I'm not asking for no confirmation. I don't got no golden fleece. I don't got no silver fleece. I stand outside with no fleece. The God witness. The moment you start asking why, you are no more. You are on a one way journey with me. Maybe not anyone else, but I'll get out of control of me. And I'll be on a one way trip to losing my destiny. Because I think, where can I think? We figure out what's going on with my body. We, it has to be a group effort. I had to have an extra doctor appointment this week. <laughs> he heard my eye was full. He's like, oh God, I, I. He said, Jamie, I heard your eye was full. And I was like, Lord, I'm ready. She alluded to something else. <laughs> and I laughed, but the truth is, I told him I was thinking the same thing. I haven't eaten anything. I thought to myself, I said, I haven't eaten anything different. I said, it hurts, though. It hurts, it hurts my nose, hurts my bone in my nose. It's still there, but it feels like somebody punched me in the face. They ain't gonna get away with it. Because I know who I am. And I know he told me to be fruitful and multiply. Yeah, that boy. And he's rebuked. He's rebuked. He's rebuked. I've been saying that in my spirit all morning and laughing about it in his face. That's why I got punched in the face. <laughs> he got mad. He got mad because I did her hands. And her feet. It's not affecting her. What's going on with her? <laughs> she won't stop praying. Punch her in the face. No, <laughs> come on. Look at that. Come on. Y'all know when we get frantic, that's what we do. And he's stupid. Why? Yeah, it hurts crap every time. He's stupid. How is he stupid? Because I said yesterday, when you get evicted, you go crazy. So you start pulling things down. I'm talking about the kids. So when he's leaving, he's leaving, he's, I'm telling you, there's going to be a great exodus of the enemy and a great entry of the remnant, the new remnant of God. But he's leaving. So he's going, we start leaving, start pulling things and pulling things down and ripping things apart. You get upset about it? Yes. You throw a tantrum. 
you get upset about something, or you get upset because you can't win a battle, right? You start thinking, I'm, 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 okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get crazy. Think about, think, think about girl when she fights. You're gonna swing those things because you can't, you, you don't control. So you can't box nobody because you can't get a, you can't get a hit off. So you start swinging your fist like you're crazy, and you misplace the hit. He misplaced the hit when he allowed the hit to land on me physically. You don't hit physically. Why? If he hits me physically, it shows, it, it reveals his kingdom. I love it. Stupid idiot. And then it reveals his kingdom. It opens up his kingdom to world eyes. It gives me an opportunity to say, look church, look world, look child. There's some of y'all wondering whether y'all are in the church or the world. So look child, my eyeball says that there's a real power of darkness. And I push it all by Satan and look at it and look at where it is. There's a mark. There's a mark on my eye. It's not just full there's a clear mark on my eye. It looks like it's, it's a circular mark right on my eyelid. And it's the, the pressure on my nose, and the pressure on the bone of my nose, and the pressure on my eye says it's not, it's not an allergic reaction. It feels like I got punched. The problem is, he's so angry and so frustrated because I keep breaking his stupid horns. Oh no, gotta buy new horns. And laughing at him, he's so angry. When you get angry, you don't pay attention to what you're doing. So when you get angry, you act out of a, um, a fury, and you can't keep, you can't fight in wisdom. So I keep binding him, and binding him, and binding him. And when I say he's bound, he's bound. Because I speak to the mountain. It's done. I have more than a mustard seed of faith. So I'm stomping his head out, from the inside out. <laughs> I said I ain't doing no more footprints in the sand, because footprints in the sand go away. So I'm doing footprints in Satan's head. Not in the sand, but in Satan's head. He's got a big footprint in the back of his head right now. I stepped on it. Oh, stepped on my head. Again. If it wasn't working, why would I get punched in the eye? If it wasn't working, why would I have basically lost the, the ability? Because now they said I might, I'm definitely going to have to have surgery on my, on my hand. So I've lost the ability on my hand, my foot, and my knee. And now my eye. See how it works? I told you guys. I told you guys the head was coming next. Because it's, it's a starfish. I told you guys it's a starfish. And, then, and when, you, when you outline, God just showed me, when you outline, we draw a star on a kid's paper, because they've done a great job. When you outline a star, you go from the bottom to the top, come back down, go to the left, come over to the right, and then close it. There's five points to a star. And I'm a star. He hit me in the head, my hand, my knee, and my foot. I'm a star. Ah! I'm a star. He's his kingdom. He opened up the door to his kingdom so that you could see it. The one thing, the one thing that Satan, that's why I be villain, he's mad at me because I keep talking about his kingdom. I keep down him. And, then I, and the thing is, if my words did not matter, me speaking about him would not matter at all. But because of the fact I keep binding him and then talking about him to you guys, I'm opening his face up to you guys so that you can see, oh my Lord, he's bound. I'm embarrassing him over and over again. In me embarrassing him with my words. It's upsetting him. And so what he's doing now, he's fighting frantic like a little girl, swinging his fists like a little girl. And got no control Like a little girl I knocked all the bugles off his head He's a big girl He's a big girl He's a big girl <laughs> Stupid idiot I don't give him no credit for nothing She gives me no credit That's true I don't give him no credit for nothing He's an idiot <laughs>